welcome back to another video in this video we are going to study overlay in Swift UI so let's start by creating a new file and name it as overlay playground so overlay is a Swift UI view modifier and it is used to place one or more views in front of another view so let's try to understand this with the help of an example I'm going to have a V stack and then in here you can add any content for your screen like maybe a title of page maybe another text or something an image or scroll view list anything that you have for your uh, for your page or for your screen and then we want to have an overlay so we have different ways to use this overlay we can, we can create it with different initializer but let's just use the one which accept an alignment and content so we are going to use an alignment in here and if you add dot you have all these options to use but let's just use the top leading and then for the content we are going to add the curly braces and then if you and then anything that we write in here it's act as an it, it will act as an overlay and it will be on top of our B stack. So let's just have an image in here, and you can add anything that conforms to a view, a text, an image, or even another stack or something. So let's just have an image of this is a system icon, and you can notice we have this icon now in here, and this is because our uh, this tag is uh, it needs a frame so for the vertical I think we can use a spacer in here and that will push our content at the top of screen and that's fine and for the for the horizontal for the horizontal uh, we have to use this frame to, so that we can set the horizontal size and we are going to use a max width in here and use infinity as a value for it and then we have our image in here and let's just use a padding and then use a background and in the background uh, instead of instead of a color this time uh, we are going to use a shape so let's use a circle because colors actually conforms to a view so you can use color as a background but it's also fine to use a shape or another uh, maybe a text or anything that conforms to a view so let's just fill it it's already a black color but let's just use maybe a black with an opacity of 0.5 or maybe 0.8 because it's a little grayish we still want it to be, to be black and then let's just have a foreground color of white nice and after the background let's just add padding so that we have a space in here because right now it's at the very edge of screen and that's great so we have our overlay and this overlay you can use it with any sheet or maybe a full screen color full screen cover so that when you use a tab on this you can maybe dismiss a view so this is just an example of how you can use an overlay Another example of overlay uh, would be we, we can write something on the image so and we already have an image in our asset folder we added them uh, when we were working on this image playground but if you don't have you can just add anything into your asset for now and uh, yeah let's just have this image and then let's just resize it and then we are going to use this scale to fill because we are going to provide a frame to our image and we want it to fill it so let's just use a width of maybe 300 and a height of 300 and let's just wait for the preview so we have our uh, nice image in front of us and if you want maybe you can add a spacer in here So we have our image in the center of screen. So let's just try to add an overlay 
and I'm going to type an overlay and then we can use this alignment and content and uh, let's just type an alignment in here and for the alignment we want it to be at the bottom and for the content let's just add a text and this will actually maybe you know uh, display the name of image or or whatever forest this is let's just have maybe some forest name and then let's just use a foreground color of white and uh, yeah just like that we have our overlay and if you want it to be more prominent you can just add a background to this image and maybe a, a rounded rectangle with corners radius of 10 and uh, yeah or maybe you don't actually need it to be around it you can just use a black background so this is how you can use an overlay you can use overlay to maybe you know draw a background for an image or uh, maybe you can use an overlay to write something on the image and just like this example you can use an overlay to uh, have uh, icons on top of the view so this is all about the overlay uh, if you have anything uh, let me know in the comment and i'll see you in the next video